Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. In this video, we are going to see how we can use epinuclear shell, the epinuclear covering as a contact lens to protect the posterior capsule. This is a white cataract, totally mature cataract. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at around 11 o'clock. And now a side port is made three clock hours away from the main incision on the left side. If we make a side port 90 degree away from the main incision, astigmatism induced by the main incision is neutralized to some extent by the side port. So if the side port is little larger, it does not matter. But it matters because lot of fluid leakage occurs and in beginner's hand the chamber maintenance may be a bit difficult. So initially the side port should be small and later if necessary during cortical aspiration it can be enlarged. The anticapsulism has been stained with tripe and blue dye, antechamber is filled up with visco and now Capsulorexis is being done with a utrita forceps. A capsular tag is raised by the tip of the utrita forceps and this capsular tag is guided all around to get an adequate sized capsulorexis. I usually rotate anticlockwise but it is surgeon's comfort, surgeon's choice. Anyone can rotate clockwise and do the rexis. And now we are going to manage this nucleus. It is a quite hard nucleus. Nuclear sclerosis grade 4. And now is the time to introduce the phaco needle. The tip of the phaco needle goes in some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up. This part of the video is in a bit slow motion to show what I want to show. Use of epinucleus as contact lens. The tip of the handpiece is buried. It goes through the substance of the nucleus for a distance and a nice crack is obtained by the chopper. One 80 degree rotation and the other side of the crack is done. And now this heminucleus is held with vacuum and it is chopped into two fragments. And then I come to the other heminucleus and chop this heminucleus also into two pieces. So we have got four pieces. Now see this. I am pulling the nucleus first and then the epinucleus here also. Let us see. The epinucleus is detached. It is kept at a distance. The nucleus is emulsified and the, then the epinucleus comes to the tip. Again, this one. At this time, I am not going to uh, remove this epinucleus. Let it protect the PC, let it act as a cushion to protect the PC. And this is the last part of the nucleus. The epinucleus has been detached completely and at the end with low vacuum, low flow rate, this epinuclear shell is removed. So we have to have patience, we have to hold the nuclear material with the phaco needle use the chopper to detach the epinucleus, keep it at a distance and then emulsify the nuclear material. If we do this, the protection of posterior capsule is very good and PC rent will be a past thing in your surgeries. And now the posterior capsule has been uh, you know, irrigated with 
the irrigation probe or bimanual IA and then the cortical matter is being removed by this 23 gauze Simcoe cannula. We have only one side port little larger through which a Simcoe can go but it is 90 degree away from the main wound so whatever astigmatism has been produced by the main wound has been neutralized to some extent by this side port. And now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. I am using a B cartridge and I am enlarging the main wound just by one small cut and here goes the intraocular lens. This is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens. If we use a B cartridge, compression of the optic of the lens is minimal and optic remains good. Sometimes there are cracks in the optic because of very small cartridge. So it is better to use a B cartridge to implant intraocular lenses. This is my personal opinion. And now this is uh, clearance of some cortical matter which was there sub-incisionally, some cells were there that has been removed. This is a bit of moxie and now the side port is being hydrated, the corneal stroma at two sides of the side port is being hydrated so that the side port closes. The main wound has been constructed in such a way that we will see in a short time that it will not require any hydration for its closure. This is the final lavage, antechamber has been formed, integrity of the wound is checked, see there is no leakage. And now we are going to conclude the case. Thank you very much for your attention, hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills, it will encourage you to use the epinuclear shell as a cushioning material as a contact lens to protect the posterior capsule.